thing. Oh shit! Oh my god! It's done. It is done. What's up? What's up? It's your boy Tula. 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 Basta. Battle of Winterfell. I'll get the disappointment out. Do not away. Okay. Woo! Woo! Well, I just think like in every battle, um, purposely make them stupid when it comes to battles. Good. Person and all the total war players. Yay! Oh, oh shit! Like, you have the you have the Dothraki. You charge it head first to infantry. Who does that? Whatever form of cavalry you have, if you charge it head on to infantry, they will get polaxed. Cavalry should be at the back, constantly mobilizing to harass and flank. Suck it for the man. Suck it for the All those Dothraki just. Bruh. The artillery, oh my god, why is it at the front of your infantry? It should be at the back at least so you can have constant bombardment even though there's a clash with your infantry going on. What the f They only have fired one shot! The arrows, doing some walls. Ah, uh, hello? Ah, uh, not <laughs> bad. They had a volley of arrows when they were retreating. What happened in the first 30 minutes. Wala kayong pinapana doon. Nagmo-mobile legend sila ba kayo sa taas? It's small details. Like, it's, it's to make TV drama. Whatever. The other complaint, it was too DC. It was too DC. Like, Zack Snyder directed that episode. Like, bigyan ko yung preview ng episode. They were saying it was dark. Alright, let's move on na to everything else. And the 999th Lord Commander, his death was just random. It was out of nowhere. It was to save Sam. But that's pretty much how I expected a lot of the deaths of the major characters was gonna be in this episode. There's lots of characters, so you don't expect a super heroic, dramatic death to every character. Boy, it was not. <laughs> oh, he was the least dramatic death. The Red Lady. Oh, I was not expecting her at all, and she delivered. Like, I'm damn yang na yung bag na hindi ko inexpected. Assisted in at least three pivotal moments. Spell pivotal. Uh, three na lang. Nagulat na talaga ako na ganun kalaki yung na ang bag. Dahalaki na tinulo niya. I when I was really processing how much help she was doing, I was like, Apo? Ala? Uy? Girl? Girl? Thank you. Wow. Uy! Liano fucking Mormon! Lady Liano Mormon of Bear Fucking Island! I don't know how she was able to run that fast, having to carry balls as heavy as hers. Smallest giant slayer in history. Liana Mormon's been uh, destroying and demolishing people way bigger than her since day one. You know what she said, right? My mother wasn't a great beauty or any other kind of beauty. She was a great warrior, though. And you know who else was a great warrior, sweetie? You are! You made your house proud! Shake that giant's ass! Mm, huh? Mm, huh? Hey, huh? Huh? And she was not the only Mormon. Sir Jorah Mormon. Lord of House Friend Zone. His death was just so symbolic. Like. When Danny fell off her dragon, she literally had no one. Now. John was inside Winterfell, her army was fighting the army of the dead, and her dragons was flying in the atmosphere trying to shake off. She had literally nothing. But even when she had nothing, she had to, she had Jorah. <laughs> you gotta feel for Jorah, man. Like. Since day one, when she had no Dothraki, she had no Unsullied, she had never met John. It's since season one, she didn't even have her dragons yet, boys. But she always had Jorah freaking Mormon since day one. And Jorah always delivered and today wasn't no off night okay he was 8 for 11 from 3 today Daenerys was left unfazed untouched the girl had zero damage boys Jorah protected her all throughout zero damage -o. he had the most beautiful artistic the most artistic death scene Danny holding him in her arms and the dragon just escaping, sobbing with the mom. I was, it was, sissy George. Oh my. And then there's Theon. What is death pain every time, bro? Death pain every time. What is death pain every time? What is death pain 
never die, guys. That's a true character arc. It has come full circle. He went from a cocky fuckboy to a commanding brat to a tortured soul. And he became a traumatized victim to a hero of Winterfell. N hero of Westeros, okay? And his real dad's son in the best way he could. What else can I say, guys? All I can say is Theon Greyjoy is a good man. Then there's Beric Dondarrion. Beric Dondarrion had gold armor in that the, the, the hallway scenes. He was being stabbed and shit. He was still walking. He was still jabbing the hallways. Like He did not go down, okay? He had to reassure that this person was safe. Lord of Light bought him back for a purpose. Beric Dendarion, Bran, and Lady Melisandre were like freaking Doctor Strange. There was 14,605,000 outcomes to this battle. Beric Dendarion had to die, okay? His sacrifice was to reassure Talaga that the Motolite Kia Gatorade player of the game would shine through. What do we say to the god of death, bro? What do we say to the god of death? <laughs> Whoa! What do we say to the god of death, bitch? What do we say to the god of death, bitch? Bitch? What do we say to the god of death, bitch? In a move! That's what we say! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Are start called game? Oh my god! Night King must have been. And she was trying to spy on me alone alone. I mean, that's a bad, bad shot. Um, care what anybody says, that's a bad shot. Sakit no! Ha? Sakit no! Ha? Ha? Sakit no! Summer na boy! Wala na lamig mo! Tunaw ka boy! Buboy! Winter is coming! Lul! Summer ngayon boy! Wow! That's all I can say really. Like, that's about it guys. It's your boy Skype Bobbers.